everybody. We want to introduce you to a new video series called What's in the Shop. This is where we have real customers with real problems and the most important thing we want to show you is how to prevent them. So come with me and let's go see what's in the shop. So today I'm inside the 2015 Coachman Prism that's made by Forest River. And what I want to show in this video, a customer brought it in a few months back and we did our full roof reseal and a full body reseal. And then they noticed after the fact that the front cap was showing some signs of delamination. It was actually caused from heat. So what we want to do is we want to tap on this wall and let them hear the sound of it. Well, there's styrofoam in the front cap. As I go ahead and tap up for the rest of the cap, you hear how it's completely hollow? Well, it's hollow completely up in here in the, in the edge of it. Here's where the side seam is, where it's stapled in place. So they're going to return at a later date. What we're going to end up doing is pulling this front area loose so that we can see what's going on back in there. And as I told them, there's not going to be any styrofoam or insulation up in there. And that's what caused the heat to build up in it and cause it to swell. Eventually, this would have happened on, their, on its own. But after we had some work done on it, they just assumed that, you know, it was something that we did, even though we haven't had any rain or water in this area whatsoever. So I'm going to go out and show you an outside view of it now. And we'll be right back. And what we're showing you is on the front cap, what we've discovered is customers had it for a few years. And as we get in closer, there's some wrinkling. And a lot of times customers will see like a distortion, you know, distortion of the front cap. They'll see it wrinkles, they'll see marks where it'll come loose. And so at first they thought possible water was getting inside of it. Well, we just recently did a roof reseal and a body reseal to it. So that wouldn't have caused it whatsoever. But what we did want to show them by the other video is that there's no insulation. And this is pretty typical. If you look at some of our past videos and pictures that we're currently working on the shop, you'll see that a lot of the units don't have uh, insulation up top, whether it's fell down, or the manufacturer just flat out didn't install it. So anyways, stay tuned for more. I'm gonna show you some pictures of the roof here in just a second, where we actually did a coating over the top of the sealants to protect the sealant so that the customer doesn't have to continue to clean and scrub the roof sealants on the die core. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're up here on the roof, and what we wanna show is that the uh, first one we're talking about the rest of the wrinkling right here. Again, there's nothing up in here. Back in the day, 2015, they used a product called Unicor. It's pretty much like a cross between cardboard and we'll say pegboard. And either heat or water can cause it to get distorted and cause ripples and moldings. You can also see that the front cap is so dry uh, it needs to be waxed. What we did was we took an applied Gacko roof coating over the top of the roof cell of the die core to protect it and to keep the customer from having to come up here and scrub and clean the sealants on a regular basis. So we need to wipe down the roof. Obviously we've been up here working and we've got it all dirty, but all the sealants up here have all been protected now so that the customers don't have to continue to come up here on a regular basis. They still want to come up here and scrub and clean the roof at least every four to six months. It's TPO material and a lot of times people say, hey, you know alpha or this company or that company says you don't have to do that well i'd like to joke around a lot and say well that's kind of like telling your wife she doesn't have to use any conditioner in the bathroom in her hair so you know we don't have to put suntan lotion on anything but it's better if we do that to protect it these materials are only made to last 10 to 12 years if we clean and maintain them and as you can see in the other videos periodic maintenance and just you know cover your tail just because they tell you you don't have to do it doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be done. All right, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching What's in the Shop. Please hit the subscribe button so you can see our next episode. Thank you for watching.